That's going to be this guy going for the early expand in the top left side in the red. He's a very good gamer representing good game gaming. This is nice. <laughs> All those good game gamers. They're really good gamers in good game gaming. He'll be sure to type GG, good game, at the end of the game, whether it's good or not, because he has good manners at his gaming. He is indeed. They, they, they are gaming, can confirm. Uh, Haas has actually been represented... We, we've been really... Well, I've been really confused as to why we keep seeing Teamless next to Haas, but he actually has a team right now. Prep Esports. He's picked up a few players. Gotten the likes yeah. of Bly. Biol is back, and he's on Team Prep Esports. Puzzle. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yep, so a few oh. of those green monsters from yesteryear. Haas scouting very late. And Haas likes to do this. He likes his greedy openings, but it means he doesn't get warning very early of that expand. I think this is Haas scout coming in now. So yeah, Haas is going to see the Nexus. And that's the important thing, is he sees a one gate expand on the other side of the map. How does Haas respond here? How do you... Because you've got to punish this. Oh, Nice is following his probe. So over on the other side of the map, he, he's saying, I'm going to see where you proxy. And Haas puts it down in his face. Whether or not he's <laughs> intending to commit to it, we don't know. He might one base proxy Void Ray. He might just expand. He also might make it look normal and then go one base blink much later. So Haas here, a man of many different options. Nice is going to try and figure out which one it is. Two Stalkers on the way. Warpgate not starting. There we go. Okay, Warpgate does start up. Haas, I, I think honestly his favorite is one base blink. So I would expect him to do that here. Yeah, the pylon has finished. The Zealot's on its way to the pylon now to try and hack and slash at it. Uh, but to... What is the plan for here from Haas? He's just going to make the pylon and, and make him overcommit to the, to the pylon? Like, I mean, yeah, it's 100 yeah, minerals the, the for 100 pylon, minerals. It's a complete fake, the pylon. I mean, he just yeah. does that just to, to get Nice on edge. Nice is, is obviously down a little bit in probes, but otherwise staying pretty calm, getting the shield battery. So Haas has gone Stargate. I think he's just going to expand, Maynard. Okay. I think he's just going to... Yeah, he's going to deny the probe. Oh, he tries to hide Nexus. it. Did Nice... I wonder if Nice saw the probe. I think if you don't see the Nexus, you don't actually know, though. So it's just going to be Nexus plus Oracle harassment here for Haas. He's going to try and get an over-response out of Nice. If Nice goes back to probing and then defends the Oracle, he's in an amazing spot. It's very scary to hold down that probe key right now. And he's going Robo, which is not so good up against the Oracle. Uh, Stargate is always... Uh, it's, it's not quite rock, paper, scissors, but it is an uh, advantage over the tech of Robo. You would rather have Stargate for sure. So here comes the uh, Oracle from Haas. He was blocked a little bit there, but not for too long. Good to scouting denial. Yeah. Nice. So whenever whenever you play two gate, you're always way behind economically. You need to deny scouting if you expand. Because if they see that you're expanding, they just hold down the probe key. Now the problem is that probe seeing stalkers at home that late. I think Nice might just assume and hold the probe key down anyway. As I say that, now he pauses his probing. Nice is a little worried, dude. He's yeah. dropping a gateway. He does kill up more well, workers. He just has no... He... he has no information. Yeah. He's not in position at all. He's worried about a frontal attack. He's not thinking about oracles right now. I'm not saying it'll do devastating damage, but even three or four does get Haas back into this game in the probe count. And it looks like two at least going down here. The main base be a different story. Is there a shield battery up here for Nice? There is... Should be able to defend those probes, no problem. Good defense. Two gate Robo uh, is there for a nice double oracle, of course, going to sync up. Still chances to find damage, and Haas going into blink behind this. Now, I think in this scenario, you want to take a quick third as Haas, because how can how can Nice ever push you if you've got two oracles out there? Now you've spotted these going Robo. It's very immobile tech. So I think Haas actually can get ahead if he just goes third Nexus, blink stalkers, upgrades on him. Oracle's going to dive. Yeah, he's going to take a few a stalker shots here for the sake of getting a few probes. He loses one of the oracles. It does get suicided, but he gets four probes here. Left side oracle should escape. There is enough map there. Yep, he's out of there. I think that's okay. It's obviously not as good. Only one oracle compared to two, but this is early enough to really put a dent in the economy of Nice. And uh, a very good worker lead for Haas as he moves out, getting ready to take that third. Oh, that shield battery ain't done yet, mate. Oh, man. Uh, now the Oracle damage is starting to get pretty nice here. And he sees that that push moving out as well. That uh, still starts the third, despite seeing a push move out. So, a <laughs> little ballsy from us. Oracle getting He's... deflected in the middle of the map, but he does actually make sure it stays alive. Twilight Cal's coming down now for nice, but very late compared to Haas. He has Blink just around the corner. Uh, where's Haas' shield battery on the yeah, third? He needs a shield battery. And he's, he's going to be walking uh... units faster than this as well. 
I yeah. think he's only got two gateways, right? Let's check the gateway count here. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, three. Oh, three three is so. okay. I think he can defend with three. I mean, it'd be amazing if you had a void ray or something here just to really shut this down. But as it stands, Nice does have a bit of a powerful attack coming up the ramp. It's blink finished. It should be finishing soon. It is soon. done. Yes. It's done. Okay. I think that's fine then. Shield battery in the natural there. So yeah, he can blink back and that's so scary to push into because there could be so many more stalkers coming in. And obviously, the moment you lose like the immortal, your stalkers can't run away, right? Like, as nice. I think backing off now, great idea. He's going DT Shrine as well. The Oracle coming across the map. And nice taking a third base, but it is a lot later. Haas is up a few workers. Nice definitely behind on the mobility. The Oracle zigs into the main. It'll get himself a, uh, a lovely scout. He's going to go for the Stasis Ward, the natural. Nice realizes it. It's a pro pool there. Mitigates the Stasis Ward. Nicely done. But, Doesn't uh, see the DT Shrine yet, though. That's the yeah. more important thing. Ooh, Scout ooh, the main. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just sitting up there. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh, it's like when you have undefended. full information, when you have full information like this, it just feels so tilting. Just be like, well, I just see it. Ah. I know, right? It's just one of those things where you're like, oh, man. It's like this. It was, I was the perfect Oracle Scout timing, right? But he doesn't see it. Now, he's building Observer, so he should be okay. But we've seen what happens. You build an Observer, it goes across the map to Scout. The DTs walk in. You're still in huge trouble. But a safety cannon for Haas as well. So it seems like he, he is uh, building some extra kind of waves there ready to defend. I still feel like Haas could continue to grow his economy here. Get up to like 60 probes. Maybe even take a fourth base. Because on this map, this is the worst map for Haas, right? Like He's a guy who likes to kill people quick and, and, and early. So I, I think he's got to play this in a very different manner. Um, he, he can't just be like, oh yeah, 55 workers, Zealot, Stalker, go because the defensive position will be too good for Nice. He's going to need to actually take advantage of a fourth base, some kind of, if not late game tech, at least some mid game tech. I got Blink on that shrine coming down here for Nice. Pass has got the upgrade advantage. He's got a quicker, uh, he's got a quicker line to charge as well, which is a huge advantage when the armies actually clash. Of course, the Invisible Man, always potential for it to do a lot of damage. Yeah, Haas has got observers, but it also matters where they are. Oh, he's got a cannon in the mineral line. And a shield battery in range of that cannon too. So he should be able to, uh, if he's really, really quickly uh, on, on the trigger, on the overcharge, he should be able to protect that cannon from the DTs. But they're going into the natural. Oh, his blink micro is a thing of beauty. Haas is so good with these blink stalkers, mate. So good with these blink stalkers. DTs going into the main base. No cannon in there. Oh! Huge blink forward from Haas. One shot's the immortal. It's done. It's out of here. But he is losing a lot of probes to these DTs. And of course, it does matter if Haas can get the break on this army from Nice. If he can break the defenses, that is absolutely Ooh. huge. Oh, plus two might be denied here. Oh, that would be a bummer. That would be a huge piece of damage there. It is denied. That's it. Oh, Nice has got Blink as well. Those DTs coming in. Dude, oh, we're in the Observer. Still oh. the Zelt's coming up here. The Observer's not there just yet. This is huge damage for Nice. And remember that I, I was saying now, like, hey, as I, oh, look at that. Recall gets all three out. Amazing. Oh. Those DTs are amazing for Nice. They do so much. And, and Haas is he's, he's massing Blink Stalkers, Maynard. Remember what we said, the longer this game goes, like, you know, Haas doesn't really go to late game very good. He's, he's a mid game guy. He's very good with Stalkers in the mid game, but this map does not play to his strengths. He, on Light Shade, he'd just kill Nice right now with his overwhelming Stalker numbers, but here, where's he gonna push? Up a ramp into a bunch of batteries and cannons? Nice realizes he's just gotta survive three cannons going down, He's building more immortals. He's getting ready for more DT run buys. He's got that blink as well. So he's kind of confident they can get out of trouble if there is some defense there. And he's got the, the guardian shielded uh, sentry as well ready to fire. It doesn't quite have enough energy, but of course it is all about the immortals, the shield batteries here, and whether or not he can cut into that stalk account. Pass's charge has been de delayed a little bit here, but I think it is done now. Nice losing a lot of probes. The DTs go in. Ow! Oh my gosh, that blink in does a lot of damage. Whoa. Haas just blinks forward and one-shots the Immortals, though. He says, I don't even care, mate. I've got too many Stalkers and Zealots. You can't defend this. What is this game? The stock, the, the stock account of Haas is obscene, but the Zealots have also been evaporated by the defensive structures and the, the defensive units of Nice, which means that he doesn't really have that front line anymore to keep everything back from his Stalkers, but does it matter? I mean, it's oh. very equal upgrades right now. I mean, it'd be so amazing if I had that plus to attack, but he doesn't. That third Nexus is about to go down. Yeah, this is, this is it, getting the third Nexus. When he's got a fourth Nexus finishing, 
that should be a killing blow for Haas. He's got to finish oh my it as God, he leaves. Kill it. Uh, the, 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 I mean, he can come back for it later, I guess. He's trying to just straight up win the fight. Haas maybe feels like he needs to do more here than he actually does. Reveals the DT with the Oracle. Nice micro. But you know what? I mean, it's good micro on both the immortal, sides. Though. Yeah, that immortal's a big one. Yeah, the immortal doing so much. Haas desperately trying to get rid of it. He tries to go for the one shot, but it survives. And he's pushing him back to the war prism. Those charge lots starting to do so much against these blink stalkers, but does he actually have enough? It looks like nice, just barely enough to kill the prism Ooh. and cut the head off of this attack from Haas. And Haas will have to retreat. The game is not over. A lot of damage was done to Haas, but nice just took a huge blow as well. And if he lost that third nexus, it would probably be advantaged in Haas, but as it stands, not just yet. More DTs being warped in. Extra base for Haas, but the plus two upgrade kicks in for nice. It's still a very close game with this Blink DT tech. Dude, a cannon doesn't stop five DTs. Nice is just tearing him apart with this. Yeah, these DTs have been absolutely the MVPs for Nice so far. The DTs never existed in this game. Haas would have already won. Oh, Recall, but he kills three of them. I think two escaped. The 10 probes died. Huh, Haas has got to go deal with that bottom left warp prism. Otherwise, he's just going to keep warping in DTs like five, six at a time. He doesn't know it's there, of course, but... He's going to have to leave an Observer out to see the DTs incoming, right? He can't just, like, keep building one cannon and be like, yeah, that'll be fine. It will never be fine. If you have, like, a cannon completely surrounded, it'll help, right? Because then the DTs can't actually attack it. But uh, as it is, Haas going to try and recover that work account. He's still on mass store for right now. He's forgotten his forge. He's not making plus two. Yeah. Uh, I think that Haas is losing control of this game a little bit here. He actually does have his forge, he just hasn't started plus two again. His, his focus is elsewhere. He's been spread a little bit too thin in this game, I think. Yeah. Haas... Looks incredibly intense, does Haas right now. Yeah. Uh, very, very intense in this game. I think he realizes he had a bit of an advantage, but his DTs got nice back into the game. He's nice. Uh, that's a good attack. Gets a cancel on the fourth. Well, yeah, man. let's get that cancel on the fourth. And he does have these charge lots, which really are a huge advantage against an army like Nice's. It's just forgotten about upgrades completely though. Yeah. That's a huge problem. I mean, there's a lot going on in this game. Very tense situation, but it's gonna end up being a plus one Zealot Stalker all in for Haas. He's got a big army supply advantage. And Nice, is Nice maybe committing too much to fancy things? The DT harass isn't finding much damage anymore. The fourth base is on the way. Observers, extra observers for vision, plus three attack, extra cannons and batteries. But the army supply is like all Haas is doing. He's like, I'm just making more stalkers. So if he takes a good fight, he'll still win the game. I mean, plus three mm. versus plus one is obviously a huge disparity. But uh, we just got to keep our eyes on that. Right now, there is a big 26 army supply advantage for Haas. Yeah. So the upgrades don't matter as much if you've just got an insane amount of units, of course. And he's coming over here to finish off what he started with that Nexus. Oh, battery overcharge. Oh, he barely gets it. Good, nice. He gets the fourth as well. Oh, Very nice. Oh, oh. Very well done from Haas. Suddenly, his opponent, nice, is on two bases mining here. Yeah, he's got 59 workers, but he's only mining off of like a, you know, a mostly mined out main base and uh, yeah. starting to Half get mined, mined out, out of natural. natural as well. Yeah. Like he's got he's got like four full mineral patches right now mining. The rest is long distance. Uh, Haas may be getting a little overly aggressive here. I think he thinks Nice is going to come across the map, so he's trying to just pull units home. He's trying mm. to go double Robo and Robo Bay. Uh, Haas, of course, going for units that don't care about upgrades, thankfully, which is obviously going to be good as Nice adds in the plus one armor. Uh, nice trying to keep building those those kind of different advantages. A big gas bank. So Nice could go Archons here. But since there's not many Zealots out, they're not the most amazing unit. Yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> there's a double Nexus expanding here, just desperately trying to get his mining back. But Haas getting more and more down the uh, down the Disruptor rabbit hole, I think is going to make things hard for Nice to win this game. It felt like Nice was on the precipice of getting the victory, actually, off the back of these really insane DT harassments. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's more and more disruptors. That's just something that's going to be really brutal for Nice to deal with. I mean, Nice is a man who likes to build many advantages as he progresses in the game. Haas is a man who likes to find one advantage and then absolutely bleed it dry and, and yeah. get everything he can out of that advantage. And in this game, being that Blink Stalker map control, and, and he's done big damage with it. Done big damage roaming with those Stalker squads. He's now going to tons of disruptors. A quicker fifth base as well. I do worry because there's only one cannon for detection on his third, and that does not seem like enough. No. The Observer just missed. Just missed these DTs as well. So it looks like that oh, third is about... Oh, you see them now? Uh, the Observer... 
Okay, the there's DT. A, there's a dot down there. I yep. don't know if it's house observer just to the right. That's the observer, yep. Yeah, I think it just saw the DT, so he should be building extra cannons on that third. Well, he hasn't just yet. He doesn't have disruptors with his frontal push, but he does have the charge lots. He's going to be... Okay, no, he does have some disruptors. It's just off camera right here. Sorry, guys, we're not in game. We're watching from a feed. But the, the disruptors are going to be awesome for him in this battle. Yes, nice. Has the ability to blink. Oh, the DTs. The DTs, if they get the cannons... Oh, there's two cannons. Okay, very well done. So Haas did build the second cannon there a bit earlier, and that's why he wasn't too worried. The Zealot Stalker supporting it. Disruptors here. Very dangerous. Haas does lose his Observer. Finally, nice pushing back the blue vision on this map, and that's very important. Nova number one coming in from Haas. He gets about two or three Stalkers there. Decent connection. Oh, Another Nova fighting forward, and Nice is trying to get up towards his own Disruptors, but it's going to take him a little while. Good snipe on that Disruptor. Does cost him a Stalker, but it's a good trade for him. I like the DT backstab coming into the fourth oh, base. Go oh, no, going natural. Go, natural. Right, go, go up the guts. The, the defenses are all on the outer expansions where you expect this to come. The natural's only got one cannon. That's so much DPS. You can right click oh, on the Nexus and Lord. remove it from this plane of existence. High, highest DPS per supply in the game. Oh! oh! Yowchies! Big, big, big shot goes down. And look at that recall, though, for Nice. So Nice loses a pack of Stalkers. Honestly, worth it. I think killing economy and not losing uh, super duper important units it's okay but nice has got to get his own disruptors out i think he's got a lot of money he does need a, a bit more gas and he's got triple disruptor as well past disruptor production is going to be what? off the chain of course pushing in and finishing a game though nice is a macro beast he's a mastermind of these situations so how does Haas actually get up in there and finish it i feel like uh, nice is still a little fragile maybe a prism in the back charge lots and dts in the main like, Haas hasn't really abused the backline of Nice at all this entire game. Single pylon trying to hold on to these DTs. They do get picked off and depowered, and they have that blink ability. Oh, Disruptor's Ooh. exposed. Nice getting some snipes there. Well done by Nice. Another nice. dead Disruptor. Uh-oh, yeah. Haas falling apart at the seams here. Stray Disruptor's going down. When you have triple Robo, I guess it's, it's not too hard to replace them, but only three Disruptors there in that army right now. Not as many as you'd expect. Haas is getting pushed into these big frontal engagements. We've said Haas struggles to beat nice past 180 supply. Uh, we're exaggerating a little bit, but like if Skytoss comes out, there's no way. If, if nice can make the, the full late game transition, there's no way. Haas does not play that high part of the game. He always tries to win before then, but they're posturing with maxed armies and, and Haas has not found a way to push in and cause that chaos that he thrives under. So I would love to see Haas split his army and send it half of it down around the bottom and start trying to clean up that fifth. Get some movement going on this map. Both players trading the strutters a little bit here. That Nova. Oh, so close. In come the DTs, though. DTs could be very annoying in this bat. Actually, you know what would be amazing? If they just blunk into the middle of that pack during this Ooh. fight. Uh, I mean, Haas, you can't, you can't bully him back here. You don't have a, a disruptor advantage anymore. So Haas is, is trying to kind of bully him back a little bit. Oh, I that's say you dead disruptor. The upgrade advantage is a double upgrade advantage as well right now. And that's another dead disruptor. Nice is winning these trades. I mean, this is what I'm saying about Haas looks antsy in the late game. He, he's like, ah, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. And it's like, yeah, because he does. Because he knows that the longer this goes on, the more nice chance increases. Haas is only on 52 workers. He's not making any more upgrades. He's got to do more damage and he's got to do it soon. But with this giant blob, I don't know oh! if this is the way. Oh man, that disruption level was insane. A blink there from Haas to try and split in the last second. The DTs are tearing him apart back at home, by the way. DTs back to finish off what they started in the main base. Oh man, it's a ghost town. Dude, these DTs have caused such a ruckus this game. And Nice just being such a pain with them. Haas though getting another disruptor. Oh, another, another one. Another, another oh, one. Oh, Nice, another you got to keep these disruptors alive. Oh, oh my god, That was a potentially game-winning disruptor right there from Haas. He got into the middle of the pack. He hit the disruptors. He hit the sentries. He hit the immortal. And he has broken this game and this defense of Nice wide open. Oh, but his production's gone down at home, so I don't know. He's, he's, he's going to be supply block forever, is Haas. He's trying to rebuild his gateways right now. Nice doing some oh. fancy stalker micro. Oh, loses his own disruptor and some stalkers to the disruptor. Another disruptor coming down. It could be the big one. That's going into the pack here. Oh, it gets picked Ooh. off the last second here. Multiple Novas being fired out, but Nice. Uh, by Haas, rather, and Nice blinking back and getting out of there against three Novas at once. Oh, man. This, this is slow zealots for Nice. Slow zealots warping in. Not what you need right now. <laughs> yeah. He's lost his Cybercore, so I don't think he can warp anything else in. 
But look at that. Okay, there's still Robos at the front. There's cannons at the other bases. Yeah. I mean, Haas still has a better setup, I think, here than Nice. Yeah, it seems like Haas might just have this uh, just because of the numbers and the way that he's disrupted Nova's actually, you know, it took him a little bit to get those really juicy connections, but he definitely found some juicy connections in the end. Um, and Nice, I mean, his main, yeah, these DTs have killed the main of Haas, but Haas is just about to kill the main of Nice too. Dude, I was just saying how Haas, I was like, I don't think you can force this. Like, Nice is too good. And then he ate like six terrible disruptor shots what in a this, row. What is this it's, game? It's crazy, dude. The DTs are ruining Haas, taking out his whole third now as well. But Nice, I mean, he's just, he's lost almost everything at home. He could get some disruptors down the ramp. Am I crazy? Pin him up in here, maybe? Am I crazy? Or should Haas be like expanding like crazy with his like 2,000 minerals? I mean, there's DT, so I, I get it's kind of hard to True. Didn't recall that much of his arm. Yeah. This is kind of expensive, man. Yeah, in fact, uh, I feel like he didn't recall enough of his army to actually give Nice a bit of a fighting chance here. Yeah, and Nice keeps his Twilight Council alive. He starts making charge on it. His DT shrine's still alive, so... Ah, oh, this is a, a bit of a reset, and Nice... I a mean, little bit. Nice has the bigger bank, sorry, but it's... There's, there's Robo production still up for Haas. If we can see the structure cab, these that's gateways. probably the most useful thing. Yeah, let's have a look at the structure cab. It's got two gateways. Okay. Yeah. The two gateway, two robo versus three gateway, no robo, but yeah. they're they're both gonna be rebuilding little bits of that piece by piece. I do like the immortals. The DT's coming in from nice on the left side. Trying to uh trying to go for the one two punch here. Nice, trying to push on in. Gets two Stalkers, not bad, not bad. I think you got to hunt those DTs down, to be honest. I, I think sending a squad of Stalkers and Zealots after them, uh, a good idea, but Haas, he's a little worried that he doesn't have the numbers to do that. Nice, trying to re-expand down the south side. It's actually kind of got, or well, he's about to have three mining bases, is nice. Well, the Disruptors, of course, are a very a big feature of Haas's army. And the Immortal Count's growing a lot as well. Immortals are super tanky. Yeah, really, really good against an army like this from Nice. And honestly, not too bad if he wants to go into Archons or something like that with the DTs later. 3-2 upgrades versus just plus 2. I mean, Haas upgrades are just so bad. It's, it's just one of those things he's completely ignored in this game. It's so focused on, on different part, parts of his strategy. It, nice, of course, is just focused on adding all the things that'll over time give him better value. Yeah, he really Ouch. wanted his immortals there. So he nearly killed one of them. So Nice has got his own disruptors out. And it's been a while since he's done that. So sometimes in this scenario, you can lull your opponent. Like you just pure stalker microing against the disruptors for like five minutes. And then when they finally push, you just hide your disruptors till the last second and you can get some really big hits. Mm. The stalkers of Nice getting really softened up here. Now, Haas has got a lot more uh, healthy units, I should say. Oh, oh, the DTs. He's go in for the distraction. Yeah, it's their time to shine. Oh my gosh, so much damage. Every single time they go in there, you can try and recall them, gets most of them out. Yeah, and every DT killed uh, obviously hurts nice, but he still has the shrine and he can make more. Picks off a disruptor there. Nicely done. Ooh! Oh! oh, there's the shot that triple nice needed. Kill. Yep, triple disruptor kill. Very, very good shot from nice. Might have even been a quad, actually, since the Stalkers only shot one before that. So nah. five Disruptors were dead, so... Damn! Oh, the Disruptor count is still there for Haas, but he's got to be careful. Ooh. Still not many Disruptors ready for Nice, though. I think this base is, is going to be forfeit. This feels like deja vu. Haas in the front door with Disruptor zoning as he kills his fourth Nexus. Can't blink on the Immortals. Cannot no. blink on those Immortals. Those Immortals protect the Disruptors very well. And there's like five cannons down here at that... Uh... And one o'clock Nexus for Haas, which is basically his main bastion of mining. There's that Blink. The Blink is going to get punished by the Disruptor on the back wow. line. Oh my god, connections on Disruptors up and down here. You can't stand and fight. The Immortals are coming. You can't stand and fight, nice. Oh, they just keep getting shot down. Yeah, ah, these Immortals, Stalker man. Stalker Micro is too good, man. Yeah, I think that Haas, I mean, it ain't pretty, but... God, it was entertaining, and I think that Haas might, as as, it, as this game starts to finally wind up, it looks like these Immortals just can't really be stopped. There's no answer to them for Nice. The DTs are catching reinforcements in the middle, middle of the map, which is awesome. And this army supply is quite close, but, you know, with it, with, when you take into the, like, all the macro things here for both players, there's, 
Oh, nice coming with the DTs as well. The observers for Haas are here, though. He's got four of them, actually, with his army. Yeah, he's uh, shame on me for not having detection once earlier in the game, but uh, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> nice surround. Oh, wow, though. that's a Very good. Dude, he actually Fresh killed so many immortals here. Fresh Immortal does get through the middle of, of the map and Haas warping in a few more stalkers. This is First, such, such, a, cool, but such a, got... a weird game. It's still like, it's, it's actually, I, I don't even know. I mean, Haas is only on two bases. Um, I think both. I think his bases are fresher though. So Haas should be mining a lot more, right? Yeah, and Nice has charge now. And I think that like three, two charge lots would be amazing for Nice right now. Am I wrong? Oh no, they're so good, dude. Especially in a Zealot versus Zealot fight right now, half Zealots will get their, their butts kicked. They'll get destroyed Zealot versus Zealot. But even, even just, you know, cheap units with great upgrades versus the Stalkers, right? Uh, it would not be bad at all. Just, yep. It's, it's oh. kind of hard because the, the micro is so good, so can you really rely on using that? He's a probes are here! The boys are being pulled, <laughs> mate! I mean, the, the things that don't care about upgrades are like, you know, you know, spells and disruptors and that sort of thing. And without spells and disruptors, it does mean that the upgrades matter here for nice. But are there too many units here for Haas? Ooh, got two observers in here still, so DT is not really an option. Still look at probe pool. Don't fight into the cannon battery too much, though. I don't think there's a reason to push in here. I get he wants to just finish nice. Oh, he's got the numbers advantage. Maybe it's worth it. Yeah, Haas is starting to feel a little bit more confident as he circumnavigates the, uh, the, the the infrastructure here of Nice and starts big enough stalkers here and there. Left and right, more and more probes dying for both players. It's probe on probe violence. Won't somebody please stop the probe on probe violence? Won't somebody please think of the probes? Ah, uh, and, and uh, yeah, it's... Nice Nice is mining from this nine o'clock base, but it's we just saw the saturation. Yeah, no, it's just, I mean, think about it. This is what, fourth and fifth of Haas? This is a good base for Nice, but he lost that middle base, and that middle base going down was huge because his third doesn't have any resources, his natural's got none left at it. Now nah, there's there's not much Nice can do from here. One DT, six Stalkers. He's done so much with Dark Templar in this game, so no shame on him for believing that that one Dark Templar can kill 20 Stalkers, but it's uh, yeah. probably not going to be the case. Even though only one Observer, actually, for us. If we had to pick an MVP unit for Nice, it would be the DT in this game, for sure. For Haas, I don't know. Do we give it to the Disruptor? I know the Disruptor's got some really good connections, but they also kind of didn't at the same time, and they also, a lot of them died. It's either Mob of Stalkers or the, the Disruptors, whichever one's got those big shots in the middle of the map and pushing into the fourth base. Nice. A few ridiculous uh, mistakes with his army movement there. I really thought he just got himself to a solid spot in that game, but yeah, there was, there was like a pretty good first shot in the middle of the map, but then he was smashing with the DTs and I thought he'd just kind of fall back and give up ground and it was like on that big ramp leading down to his fourth base complete devastation that was a brutal shot man absolutely brutal uh, both players seeming to uh, have a bit of a shaky game one there you know not, not the cleanest experience from Haas and Nice but definitely action packed and definitely entertaining we're going to take a short break and we return let's find out if game two is just as good don't go away we'll see you then
G'day StarCraft fans, welcome back. We are in the midst of Nice versus Haas, and it feels like we're like in smack bang in the middle of the series, but we've barely begun. This is only the beginning. This is game one in the books, but it was an exhausting one, honestly. Like fun, but exhausting yeah. to watch. That was a really, really big match. Uh, it was obviously Romanticide. This is the map which is gonna go the longest in the entire series. Hard to finish each other off there. And it looked like Haas was in the winner's seat until those Dark Templars started getting to work. And wow, did they get a lot done in that entire game. In the end, not enough to get nice back in it. But I mean, it forced a base trade. It got messy. It got scrappy. And at the end of the day, it was, of course, a uh, massive victory in the scrappy game. The disruptors did pay off in the end. They did. So many of them died and so many of them whiffed. But it's the good thing about the disruptor. You kind of only need a few good hits for it to matter. Yeah. I mean, triple, triple Robo Disruptor, dude, they produce so fast. It's, it's kind of crazy when you think about how long we've been playing Legacy and how rarely we've seen Triple Robo Disruptor until the last year or so. Mm. But it's like, hey, if you're at 80 plus probes, come on. Like, this is the power unit. Why not make more of them? Be able to reproduce them. They're so powerful. They're absolutely game changers course let's see what this man has in store for us on oxide down here at the bottom left hand side this is preppy sports hearts and up at the top right he's a very good gamer from good game gaming this is noise Gas first for Haas. Hmm. Gas. Let's drop that tech tray a little bit faster. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It just means there will be more yeah. gas available. This may just... Yeah. Second gas. Oh, he's he's absolutely doing something. <laughs> is, is it, is, the second is, gas. Is, uh, twice is, as much gas as he initially had with that single gas. Is, is, is it two Stargate? Is he planning Phoenix? He might be planning for a Phoenix War. I don't. Two oh, Stargate man. on one base? I don't he, know. He, I don't know, Maynard. It's a lot he, of gas. He could also be going really fast, Tempest Pig. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, dude, that's not even outside of the realm of possibilities. Yeah, but always did it. Yeah. He, but always also will then build batteries outside your base to heal them. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> um, you know, he's prioritizing his minerals, honestly. So it's not a crazy amount. So he's, he's mined 20 more gas than nice. Mm -hmm. Why did he take a second gas so early? I don't think he was even using it. <laughs> Damn it, Haas, you confounding beast, you. <laughs> Damn it all. Well, let's see how things roll up here. We are still waiting to see what the plan is. Uh, the early gases do matter. It's, yeah, you know, you're... You're messing with your mineral mining a little bit. It's not cheap to get those assimilators. Haas actually going for the full wall off here. Really wants that probe. Stargate, yeah, goes down. So it is It is the quick Stargate. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I really just wonder what this turns into. And it, it could be so many different things for both sides. But Stargate versus Stargate. Mm, maybe they do have Phoenix Wars a lot. And he just wants a slight head start on the gas income. <laughs> maybe. Uh, they're both going for the low ground wall in. They've both fully walled off their naturals. They're both going Stargate with Haas having a bit of a leg up in that regard. It's a bit of a faster Stargate for him. Going for a gas oh, deal. Yes, yes, yes. He wants the gas advantage, Maynard. Yes, he does want so that it is gas Phoenix advantage. Wars. Yeah, yeah, it's Phoenix Wars. Oh, that's at least what he's planning to do. This is where if your super big brain is nice, you cancel that Stargate or you make like three Phoenix, but you make a Twilight right now and you start going DTs. You proxy a, a, or you build it in the back of your base. Yeah. <laughs> He's making an oracle right now, but uh, Haas has no interest in units that aren't phoenixes at the moment. Yeah, no, he's going to go mass phoenix, and he was planning this from the start. Yeah, I, I, I was like, two-star phoenix? Like, Because, okay, the only time I've seen someone take double gas so quickly is normally they're going, like, double Stargate oracle on one base. Like, really dumb lateral ones you'll never see in a pro match. <laughs> you know, it's, like, <laughs> interested to see that Haas is like, no, I just want a bit of a head start in the Phoenix War, and I'm even going to steal one of your gases. And what can that gas see, by the way? Oh, I don't think it could see the Stargate anyway. So that's cool. I mean, it just tells him, are you taking the other gas? Denies the chance of him being anywhere near the same gas count. But, I mean, Nice is just going to swap into Blink Orgate. So... 
Phoenix, it can do a bunch of damage, but Haas is going to need to go Robo and get Immortals and Void Rays out behind nice. us. Nice. Otherwise, That's... the Blink Stalkers can kill him. He's just going to kill his own Stargate. He doesn't want any more, I guess. Yeah, because he knows Haas is going to go Phoenix, but these guys know each other so well. Wow. He's he's like, yeah, you're going to build some Phoenix or Void Rays. Like, I don't plan to ever contest this, guys. I'm going Blink. So <laughs> he's like, I need a gateway and a cyber core for Blink Stalkers, Maynard. Of course, I don't need this 150 gas, 150 mineral structure. <laughs> <laughs> After making the Oracle, the 100 gas unit. So the Phoenix is a yeah. uh, rule in the skies here for Haas. And he's making them two by two here. Also getting the Robo down on the ground. So he's going to have some kind of ground presence. Nice getting rid of the Stargate. So he opens up that wall in. Be able to take a little bit more of the map of these ground forces. And now it's time for the Phoenixes to shine. Let's see if they can get some probe kills. They're going to get at least a bunch here. It's going to start with one, two, three. Make sure you don't lose the Phoenix. That was very crucial. Oh, we might oh, lose he one. He takes a bit of damage. Oh. Ow. He starts a Void Ray. Yeah, he's like, oh, you're not playing Air Wars? He's like, damn it. If you were already trying to beat me in Phoenix, this would be such a good position. But as it is, I got to swap out of it. The Haas, head economically by a few probes. Robo, Void Ray on the way. And, ooh, does deny the attempt on the third. Doesn't know when Blink's going to finish those, so he's got to be careful. Oracle showing up now for Nice. He is a shield battery, so he's going to go for the Stasis Ward. Oh, oh that's a good what? one. Nice is, planning, nice is planning an all-in as well. If he kills some Phoenix here, that's actually really okay for Nice. Nice is going to go all-in, I'm pretty sure. He's going to even build a gateway on the front. Oh my oh, gosh! Wow. Two Stasis Wards catching those probes there. Haas not really looking at home at all. Oh my lord. And he does not know about that pylon out to the left, Maynard, of his, of his main base. Oh, yeah. charge now. What? Interesting. All right. I really thought Nice was just doing no, it all in. I where, thought it was big Blink Stalker attacks. Yeah. Is he going to third? He'll take a third. All yeah, right. He's, he's just, I guess it's just getting ready for the next step. He'll still do the Stalker attack here. Uh, I think a Mortal 2 Void Race Shield Battery, he should be safe. It does seem like it. Obviously, this army's amazing against the Phoenixes, but... Uh, oh, we're going to get the Oracle. Nice. Good pick off. Notice now that the Stalkers are coming. Already going Fleet Beacon on two base. Haas is like, all right, two base carrier. That's the play. Let's do it. Ooh, okay. And that wall. And you can't go out of the wall, unfortunately. And there's Ouch. Nice catching those Phoenixes. He gets one. Nearly gets two, but not quite. Damn, Haas is double Void Ray production here. And that Stargate's still alive. Another Void Ray in the chamber. Ooh, I think this might just be where you as Nice take a fourth base and just hold down the probe key. Because because Haas is so turtled up on two base and he's he's stuck doing mech protoss basically right it's just immortals void rays he's gonna go carriers from it so I actually think as nice here you have an easy road to just holding the throat key down looks like he still wants to try to kill with the stalkers will he be able to get in? There's manic alignment engaged here and he's still fighting in range of that shield battery. Nice really doesn't want to fight that and he shouldn't want to fight that. Oh Haas, you get out of here, bro. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. He could have done a lot more with these. Yeah, it seemed like maybe his multitasking was getting stretched a little thin there. He's a lot more concerned about the front of his base than what these Phoenixes were up to. But, you know, uh, credit where credit is due. Seven probes have been killed. Cheers. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's right, man. It's, just, it's cheers. You know, we're having a good time. It's of Starcraft. We are. Click, it's PvP. Click, click. Exactly. <laughs> Here's to you, Starcraft. Forge is on the way. Uh, Nexus is starting for Haas on the third. Don't know if he can really defend it. And it, it's interesting to me that Nice is not taking a fourth base against a guy who's doing nothing but building Void Rays and Immortals. He can't push into you. Like, you could just always base trade Haas. There's no way Haas can take the fight to you. And yet Haas is the one who's mass expanding when he has no way of protecting it. So it, it's really weird here because Haas is playing like he's the one with the mobile army and the map control. And Nice is playing like he's the one who's turtled up. When it's actually, it should be the opposite, just based on their composition. So some very kind of unintuitive matchup with how these compositions are interacting. A lot of stalkers here for Nice, which on paper seems great, but Haas is about to triple Stargate Void Ray amass, and he's already got plus one attack for those voids. He's been making them for a hot minute too, so... Yeah. Got a lot. It, prismatic alignment ruins stalkers. I mean, stalkers can obviously kill Void Rays in small to medium numbers, but at a certain mass... The Stalkers are going to start overkilling really badly, and the Prismatic Alignment is so powerful, um, especially with the Mortals on the ground. He loses the third, but he's got that fourth in the corner. He was prepared for this. He knew okay, so this makes a lot of sense from Haas now, but nice! Double checks! Oh, he knows who he's playing against. 
Spots the base in the corner. Very well done. So Nice is going to go up to four Nexus here, while Haas is basically powering on two bases. That third Nexus, it's going to finish too. Oh, lovely for Nice. This is so good for him. Yeah, Nice. I mean, does he just do a two base all in now? He might be able to kill, kill uh, sorry, Haas might be able to kill Nice with the, the Void Ray all in. Oh, he's going to go for a Nexus snipe recall, I think. He gets spotted though. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Quick recall. Yeah, these stalkers can defeat the Void Rays out in the open. Us has got the Immortals with his army. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's weirdly enough, if Nice is fighting the Voids with the Immortals underneath the Voids, then I think Haas, is, Haas wins the battle. But if it's any other yeah. situation than that, then I think that Nice's stalkers will overwhelm. And that is an obscene but, amount of stalkers. Yeah, and the problem is if the Zeal if he gets like even just five Zealots charge in front, the Immortals will waste their time attacking them. They won't actually be hitting the stalkers. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, here we go. The Immortals though, man. Oh, nice. Ooh, that looked like it went a lot better for Haas. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> I think so. I'll get the battle report way, for a second. He's way down on economy. There's going to be another fight in a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Getting a Void Ray there. Maybe getting an Immortal. Yes, he does get an Immortal. And uh, yeah, you're quite right. Because of, the, because of the big economy lead here for nice. Um, losing units, not as big a deal for him as Haas losing then, units. Uh, whenever prismatic alignment's on cooldown, notice the Void Rays are nowhere near as good as in that first engagement. They're nowhere near as good. Oh, nice. Got it, I think. Getting rid of those yeah, Immortals yeah. is huge, and if he can continue the pressure with these Stalkers, no reason for him to stop. This style from Haas, I've seen Haas really struggle against this style um, when he's playing against it from other players, but... Nice seems to know how to do this really well. He's got a full four base economy. Stalkers have picked fantastic engagements. Really well done. And the, the kind of mech sky toss sort of style here. I think Haas was really hoping to get an air war. He wasn't able to get it. He was pulling probes just there. He wants to fight with his probes. He's expecting the stalkers to commit. So he wants the probes to tank for him. Uh, well, Prismatic Alignment is back, but Nice just needs to wait. Play the waiting game. Yeah. Prismatic alignment now on cooldown. He's pulled Haas out of his shell. That's why Void Rays suck compared to Immortals. Uh, Void Ray is like an Immortal when it's got Prismatic alignment, but that's only one small point in time. And then it's just like a, it's like a decent unit, but it's so expensive, so expensive. Probes actually did quite a bit for Haas there to 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 buff for these voids, but it does feel, you know, with this much of an economy lead, Nice has got an extremely huge economy yeah. lead. It's just a matter of time, really. This is what I was saying about just just uh, take the whole map because Haas can't really punish you because you've got this mobility. And once you've got a bigger economy, Stalkers do beat Sky Toss and Void Ray Immortal and Cannon Battery. And it's like, well, they don't really cost for cost, but you don't need to be cost efficient. That's the whole thing is you've got the mobility. You pick and choose where the fights happen. You can bait out the prismatic alignment, pull back, go in again later. It's just, it, it's so powerful, all the options Nice has available. And Haas is like, well, please fight into Prismatic Alignment Battery. And Nice is just not gifting him that. Indeed. Well, it seemed like uh, Nice is just powering up here. Ready to put the, the overwhelming numbers down Haas' throat and just force feed him a bajillion stalkers. Haas, once again, Prismatic Alignment. Once again, Nice can just uh, abuse the fact that the cooldown is, uh, is still running here on the clock for Haas. The probe's still following around these Void Rays, still following around this Immortal. Oh. There is Immortal's trying to come on forward. Oh, the Stalker Focus Fire is too good, Maynard. He's taken out so nice, dismantling this composition with style. GG. We got ourselves a tied series, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, just like game one, it ain't pretty, but it was entertaining. Good times. Well, it was interesting because I think we saw Haas saying, this is definitely going to be a Phoenix War. I'm going to have a head start on it. I'm so big brain. And Nice was like, yeah, nah, I'll build one Oracle and then kill my own Stargate. <laughs> yeah, it's... So it completely avoided the, the situation that Haas wanted. Like, it's it's so interesting. Um, these players, you, you mentioned it, touched on a little bit in that game, that these players know each other so well that games will just look like that, where they're, they they straight up expect something because the amount of times they've seen each other. And then Nice is like, well, I know that Haas knows, so let's do something completely different, subvert expectations, and even yeah. punish him for his decision because I know that he wants to do this. 
before I even see it. Absolutely. And, and there was a way you could make this work. And, and that way was if Haas took the top left corner base, uh, he would have won this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm kind of joking, but actually uh, Haas did need to, to try and sneak a corner base up at some point. I do think he tried it in the bottom right. Obviously it got caught. But uh, it was always going to be hard. He just took a giant gamble committing to this two-star Phoenix. And he also didn't handle his Phoenix very well. Remember that his Phoenix did get caught a bunch of times. If you keep those Phoenix alive, it makes it a lot harder. And uh, it means if he like blinks in and stuff, you can pick up and disable a whole ton of those Stalkers. The Phoenix are very useful units in general, just to try and buffer, disable units, and of course punish him so he can't just immediately disengage. Yeah. Uh, a, uh, a a really fun little PvP there between both those players. Great little collection of mind games from both Haas and Nice. With Nice getting the better end of it, obviously. But we do have a tied series, so basically a best of three from here on now. Now that the best of five has had its two maps done. What is the third map pick? Um, I... Romanticide, uh, we just had Oxide. So that means next would probably be Jagannatha or 2000, Lychee, I believe. I've been told. Okay. So basically, the, the map that wasn't the map that you just said. You went for a couple there. Yeah. So um, that's a big map. Mm -hmm. Thinking about what styles we might see there. I mean, we've seen a lot of gate expands on that map from these two in particular. Uh, we'll see, of course, maybe nice going back to what worked. Okay, in game one. I do feel it's scary to do it against Haas. I, I think it's kind of insane that he does it so often. I also understand why he does it. Haas does not scout early. He likes to scout really late, so he doesn't have a lot of the good counterplay options to an early expand that other players would because Haas is such a greedy, greedy boy. He certainly is. He's the guy that usually likes to go Nexus first in PvP at least once in a series. He hasn't showed us that just yet, but let's have a look at this game as we roll into 2000 atmospheres in the bottom left. Prep Esports. This is Haas. In the top right side of the map, representing good game gaming, this is nice. Alrighty. I'm just keen to see what their plan is, man. Like, they, it, it's so hard to predict what they're going to do. Um, it is one of those maps where the low ground, uh, low ground gateway expands is a little bit more normal, so Haas is going for that option, but nice high ground gateway. So it looks like high, uh, Nice going to go the double gateway expand high, and Haas going to go single gateway faster Nexus. Yeah, well, let's see what Haas actually plans with that, that walled off. Because I can't, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's probe scouted early um, and Nice has obviously probe scouted him and will block the ability to take that expansion, but Haas already has two gases up. Yeah, and he's got a probe scout as well, so it feels to me like Haas is, is playing a bit reactive. He's kind of keeping his options open. He actually drops the second gate. Interesting. Hmm. That was not planned. Yeah, he's no. He's done it, that reactively for sure. Yeah, that was supposed to be a Nexus. Uh, nice, and he's head a little bit here. Yeah, we'll see exactly how it develops, though, uh, as both players do drop a third pylon. No one hiding a pylon just yet, or second pylon, I should say. Okay, looks like Nice might pull the trigger up here into the north side, as far as pylon hiding is concerned. Probes out there, sharking around. Pun not intended, okay. I know we're underwater. <laughs> there are space sharks on this map, but uh, Warp Gate Stalker's on the way for both sides. Pass drops a third pylon up in his main, and Nice has not dropped his third pylon just yet. Ooh. It's nice. Gonna drop that on his natural. Okay, he does drop it in the main. But uh, he can't build a third and fourth gateway unit. So nice is just gonna drop a nexus, I believe. Does seem so. It's a very, uh, a very weird um, sort of early game footsies between the two players. But they, uh, neither one of them wanted to make an, uh, a, a big move. Yeah. Haas was looking to go for the one gate expand, decided in the last second, no, I'm just going to go double stalker. We've got a Robo going down for Nice. Haas dropping the Stargate again here. Really loving the Stargate at the moment. We've done it three games in a row now. Why is Nice so afraid to just do a normal opening against Haas? I always wonder when they play why Nice plays on his level. Because <laughs> once it hits the mid game, 
Nice swaps back into a reactive macro player. But in the early game, he just plays like Haas. Like he's always trying to cheese him out and catch him with things. I always wonder why. Why do we never see him just make a sentry and hallucinate across the map? He does it versus other Protoss players. He just won't do it versus Haas. It's so odd. I guess he's been traumatized from trying to play too normal. And he has decided aggression is the key. Robo third gate all on one base. This is the butt always special. That's right. A warp prism, a ton of stalk is going to cascade across the map. Generally pretty bad against Stargate play, but an Oracle not going to be very good for fighting front on here, is it? And remember that Haas, because he walled off his natural, this might be a reaction from Nice saying, you can't move in and out of your wall. I don't care if you've got shield battery and overcharge. I'm going to kill your production. It's in your wall. It's exposed. There's no way you'll defend this. And an Oracle, yeah, it's a good harassment unit, but if there's a shield battery at home and there is for Nice, he should be completely fine. Dual battery is up and running, so he's all safe against that uh, initial unit here. Still hasn't taken that natural. Yeah, no, this is super committed. He's got to yeah. do massive damage. Uh, it's, it's looking for a kill move. Void Ray's on the way, which is very important for Haas, but Void Ray on its own, not really going to cut the mustard. Uh, he needs that shield battery. Yeah, he's got one, but he needs another, I think. And a few more. Ooh, good start. Good start for Nice. All oh, Caesar's Warden. I don't think Nice is paying attention. He's marking Stalkers at the front line here. So that is going to be a massive oh! catch. Every mining oh! mineral probe has been stasis here. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Nice not even reacting right now. On the camera, we saw maybe the slightest expression as he looked back at his mineral line and saw it was gone. Uh, these Stalkers still looking for damage. Oh, let's get one Stalker there. Prism here hanging out. Both gateways gone, Maynard. It's one Stargate Void Ray production, shield batteries, and what's already out. Has cannot make gateway units right now. I feel like I've seen this so many times where, yep. you know, the gateways are gone, side of is gone, so all that you can do is make Void Rays and shield batteries. But I've seen the vo I've seen the guy just making Void Rays hold, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, right now he's, he's remaking two gateways, but he doesn't even have the money to make a Void Ray. Haas, you gotta keep making voids right now. He's one basing you, bro. Okay, there we go. Next Voidray does start up. Trying to micro in and out. Obviously doesn't want to let that shield battery go down for free. Hasn't used battery overcharge yet, I don't think. Yeah. So he's got that one available. No cyber core, so he's still, uh, you know, whopping in slow zealots, which do have a bit oh. of utility. Sometimes if, the, if you're not target firing in the A move, it'll just hit the zealot instead. Dude, nice just killed two stalkers for free. He's just one-shotting and yep. smoothly pulling away before he loses anything. Such good micro from Nice. Just in and out, in and out. In a moment, there's a unit exposed. He's going to just one-tap it. Um, so the magic count, by the way, it's 14 stalkers to... Or 13, I believe, sorry, to one shot of Vogue. So he doesn't have blink. But keep in mind, that's that's about 13 stalkers there. So if they all get forward, they can one-shot a Void Ray. Doesn't matter if it's battery overcharged or not. With this warp in, he might just try to shove forward and take out the points. Yeah, he's got the magic number now. Yep. Ooh. That's a lot. He's got yeah. 16 stalkers here from Nice. He can lose a couple and still be one-shotting voids. But he's worried about the force field. Just, oh, he's deep out with the batteries. Oh, my That's lord. Pass is in trouble. Yeah, it's a prismatic overcharge, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't think Nice cares anymore. Yeah, he got two void rays, and he saves a ton of the stalkers. Really well done. Not over by any means. Haas has a lot of mining. I'm surprised Haas didn't get like a bit of extra production up. Well, what is his production right now? Just the Stargate? He, uh, he tried to rebuild some other gateways here. They went down. Got one gateway. Trying to rebuild Void Ray still. This is really rough for Haas. Yeah, shield batteries repowered at least, but not all the Void Rays can activate their, their overcharge ability. And Haas is bleeding out some of those probes. Of course, he can afford to lose probes. Those are the units he can afford to lose. But. Yeah. Losing Stalkers, uh, to a lesser extent, Zealots, but losing Void Ray is certainly catastrophic losses for Haas if he loses any of those. Uh, these Stasis Traps, nice multitasking on point. Not making the big mistake after the first one. Up 39 army supply to 27 down. Eight workers, though. One base versus two. Nice. He needs to make it happen with this army. And Probe's even being pulled in to buffer. I love Haas' respect for the situation, the deep water that he finds himself in. But as he loses that front position, the Stork is able to come forward. Yeah, Stork is... And with the power of the Prism, they they have, like, blink without cooldown. At least four of them at a time do. Oh, dude. Okay. Miracles are there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my lord. 
Force field's rolling on in there, and uh, and Stalker kills him. And Haas needs to start shading to that Stalker ball without losing anything here. It's just a very it's balanced on a razor's edge at the moment between two players. Sentry Zealot walking in for Haas. He wants a scoop. This is taking a lot of damage, man. I mean, the force fields are very good. The Warp Prism, the Blink no Blink. He says, I don't need to upgrade Blink to have Blink. I've got Warp Prism Micro, and that's all I need. Five probes going down. Haas still building defunct tech. It's just Void Rays, man. Void Rays, Zealots, and Sentries. The Sentries especially ain't doing much no more. Man, one of those Void Rays took a huge volley. It's deep in the red hit points now. Oh, nice. It's just out microing him. I, I, I still could be a win for Haas. As I think he's at, how many Void Rays is it? Four or five? It's, it's a lot. Four. One of them extremely bruised. Another one not too, not too healthy either. Uh, it does have plenty of shields. Nice. This stalker count is getting ridiculous. That's too many stalkers, man. It's too many to stop, I think, at this point. Yeah. Oh, oh good, good scoop. Good, good scoop. Good scoop. The prison it's comes two. and saves him. Makes it three. Make it four. Three, four. Oh, oh wow. Three. The micro is so good from nice. Yeah, using that prism to the utmost advantage. I mean, that, that prism is a couple hundred minerals, but it has been worth its weight in gold for nice in this engagement. Another oh. good scoop coming in. A couple stalkers dying. Wait, what's the production for Haas? He's got most of his probes in his army right now, I swear. Like, he's trying to build more probes. He's got a few probes. Zealot Stalkers in there. Oh, the Void Ray goes down. Got a lot of Stalkers falling. Gets two Void Rays. Loses a bunch of Stalkers, though. He lost so many Stalkers. I think that might not have been the most amazing trade. I mean, there's only three Void Rays left, though. Another dead Stalker. Ooh, and Prismatic Alignment's not here. It's very, very painful for Haas. He needs that Prismatic Alignment. That Nexus is so close to dead. It's so, so close. Uh, nice has never gotten himself a second Nexus, so the math is a little fuzzy here. Another Void Ray on the way for Haas. If he can get the Void Ray count looking healthy again, he can take the fight. The Oracle is still, still seeing that there's 10 probes have there. died. I think the Oracle oh. just turned on Pulsar Beam and, and drained the shield battery and killed everything. Haas. Oh, he's trapping even more. Dude, the sentries have actually done a lot of damage, but they're out of energy. But over time, every force field here, it makes it so hard for un, un, unblinkable stalkers to get in and out, right? Mm. The, the micro is being stopped by the force field. Yeah. Force fields, you know, looking at the number of force fields here on these sentries, that's uh, not that many. Also, the yeah, the probe kills are actually on the, the hard side of things. Oh my god, that scoop. The prism. The sentry count, he's got like so many of them. I think he's got like three force fields available. So Nice is so worried and Haas is just waiting. He's like, let me, let me just split you. Let me split you in half. Take out some stalkers and smash. Haas, I think honestly, because Nice main is, is almost completely mined out. I think in about two minutes, it should be completely mining out. Two or three minutes. The stasis trap blocking his natural. He's sending a probe out right now. Oh, good scoop. Oh, good that's scoop. huge. Okay, only gets one of them, but still not bad. Oh, a rethink there from Nice. He grabs the extra Nexus, but because of the, uh, I think there's a Stasis Ward blocking his natural. Yeah, and I think there might have been one that hit his main as well just now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah Gets the... a few of those probes. Does another one. Um, you can actually out DPS the shield battery, the Oracle, uh, because it actually does two damage a shot, 22, yeah. beyond what the shields of a probe is. But with the Stalker there, he can't do that. So even with all the energy banked up, he's just spamming Stasis traps. And Oh, the Oracle will go down. That is unfortunate for Haas. Now, Haas, if he kept the Oracle alive, he could just keep track of that army everywhere. He'd be completely good. Now, Haas is not probing Maynard. So did he not see that Nexus on the way home? I don't think so. Oh, he must have. No. No, he hasn't. Oh, he didn't? So, so right now, Haas has actually got a pretty... I mean, it's a weird army. It's Sentry, it's sentry and Void Ray with a couple slow zealots, but it's, it's kind of beastly. When you look at what yeah, Nice has got. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> I guess what Nice has got, it's actually kind of sick. Yeah. Um, I, I, he's not probing, though. So that's the big problem is Haas doesn't know if he's being all in or not right now. He's probing again now. He's been making probes to be his frontline meat shield <laughs> rather than mining. Yeah. How many probes has he lost this game, by the way? It's got to be over like 30 by now, right? Oh, it'd have to be. Oh, good call. Damn. Wow. <laughs> game sense. You get, you, get a cook, you get an internet biscuit. Oh, that was good. Well done. They call me the guesstimator. That's right. 
Uh, Blink is almost done for nice. That's such a huge upgrade. And I, I just always feel like Blink is always going to be better than like Void Rays don't scale so well, Sentries don't scale so well. So it's good now. They're still going to be useful units, but the Blink Stalk is going to be a bit more malleable, you know, useful in different situations, flexible, mobile, and uh, definitely still an economic advantage for Haas, but he's not holding the probe key down. So I just look at this and I go, he's just missing the information, dude. That Oracle Snipe? If Nice wins this game, it's all the Oracle Snipe. Earlier! Oh, and another one. Another one. Does see the expansion though, and he's gonna go. He's like, oh, you bastard. You took a base. The, the sentry with the force field split could be really good for Nice this time around as well. Um, Hass has to be really patient with when he prismatically aligns. That's the important thing. Oh, I like oh, that hallucinated void. Rays. I love it. I love it. What you gonna focus? What are you gonna focus? There's no way to know. Oh, oh good split. Yeah, and he oh, also oh, prism down. And and uh, Nice actually did focus down a couple of the fake voids. Ooh, ha, oh, so big brain. And he's gonna kill it. Those zealots are so tanky. The sentries are also acting as tanks. Guardian shield can go down. No force fields left for Nice. That was his last one. And this is a big army of Void Rays and Immortal oh Sentries and Zealots coming forward. Battery overcharge, though, does scare Haas back for the moment. He's going to pull back. Prismatic alignment's off. Yeah, so the loose nations expired as well. So Haas is pulling back, letting the, uh, the overcharged shield battery do its thing. Now he just wants to get another scoop on them stalkers. 69 Scoop army it. supply for Haas. It's the magic number. Two Void Rays go down for just one or two Stalkers. Bad start to the fight for Haas. He wants to finish this game. The micro from Nice has been lit. Is it going to oh. be enough? He blinks forward. He's taken out the Void Rays. He's taken out all of the power units. It's now or never. The Immortals of Haas, though, are shredding these Stalkers. He's lost a lot of the Voids, at least. Oh, the Pro no. pull also quite nice here as it pulls Haas' attention apart. But is it enough? I mean, he's lost so many workers. Haas is way up and he's going to kill a lot of these stalkers. Even though he'll get overwhelmed here, he's going to kill most of Nice army and a lot of his economy. I think even though it was a little bit of a messy trade, Haas with 12 worker lead behind this, he should be able to recover his military before any sort of counterattack gets across. He's got more Immortals, Void Rays and Stalkers building and Nice on just 24 workers. His economy just took a brutal beating. Every single one of these games have been like, what is this game? And I find myself in that position again for game three. It's good fun. All right. Yeah, these guys have wild series, dude. Do wild, they not? Wild, wild series. Oh, man. It's, it's always like a continuation as well when they almost inevitably meet in the grand finals again. We're like, all right, we get to continue the series from the day, the day before. Let's go. Uh, stalkers moving forward. That's eight Stalkers there. A pile on, picking off some units, not bad, not bad. I'm actually amazed that Nice hasn't already won this game. I thought he had it like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, he, he it was so close. There was a point where there was like three sentries with no energy, two void rays and two zealots up against like 14 stalkers or something, but it's it's so hard to push in against the void rays. And, and Haas is one of the few players who seems to understand how to defend that better than anyone. It's probably because he's been on the other side of it so many times. Oh, both players not done. Haas trying to extend his economic lead here. That's a dead prism. Haas needs to take... Like, oh, man, he's, like, not happy. Just rolled back in his chair there. But the yeah. uh, he, he's been making a few mistakes with his units. You know, the Void Ray getting rallied out, got picked off by Nice. He snapped that Warp Prism as well for free. There's a unit inside yeah. of it, too. Stork is being as annoying as they can. Get a pylon for just a few hit points there. Well worth it. And he's trying to get that third Nexus up. But he's not probing right now, Nice. And uh, I, I do... I mean, Nice is... Actually, I had in supply, Maynard. Yeah. And he's got a third at the same time. Is he going to get back in this game? No way. Back in this it's game? Mate, he's probably going to win this game. Really? I don't know. Why man, not? He's so behind on workers for so long. Why not? Look at these, look at these scoops. Just so much pressure, man. These force fields are These so immortals good. are like, let me at them. Nice is like... They're, the, they're such a good unit for this yeah. situation, the immortal, but they just can't get at them, man. They're the sentries. Yeah. The, the sentries are doing that thing when you're like, you're the bigger kid and someone's trying to punch you. You just hold their head and they like are swinging their arms and they can't reach your body. And there's no... The twilight just starting for Haas. Yeah, yeah. When you're stuck on this, no twilight. It, you're so immobile. And nice. He's the one who's picking the fights, but honestly... 
Uh, the, the prism backing up the immortals is very powerful. If he loses the prism, us is in huge trouble right now, though. I mean, I. <laughs> The Stalkers have map control. He's adding a DT shrine behind it. Haas trying to sneak adepts across. He's not able to do it. He's just too immobile. He does not have the mobile units. He's been too slow to go Twilight Council behind this. And I think Nice should be able to build an advantage off this. But he's not holding the probe key down. So Nice wants to do it with army. And uh, that means they're both just locked on equal work account. And uh, neither player really building that economic advantage. An adept attempt on the right hand side but nice seems already on the way to intercept yeah he knows how has is thinking and he's like okay you failed one you're gonna go immediately for one on the other side now the depths ain't gonna do anything four depths for nothing in a situation where you're already behind he's trying to add charge but that's not gonna make up for this this difference i really feel Haas needs to go for his own blink and try to get, grab stalkers otherwise nice he can just go mass blink stalker and there, there's just gonna be no way to contest the mobility three immortals are great but how are you gonna make nice ever stand and fight we already saw in that last fight with the force fields how uh awkward it can be he, i honestly think he's about to get overwhelmed this is just so many stalkers this has been such a good fight back for nice after it looked like has defended but nice with a fantastic hold of the void ray counter push now, Stalker overwhelming numbers. The Prism is there. He wants him to pounce on the Immortal and he wants to pick it up at the last second. Well, the Immortals feel like they have the power to beat all, uh, you know, most of these Stalkers, especially with shield battery support. So, you know, Nice is just trying to, once again, just grab those stragglers, you know, the uh, gra grab the lions that are separated from the pack kind of thing. But he hasn't been able to do that just yet. The DT is coming in now for Nice and... Haas has been so concerned with the Stalkers here, he doesn't really have anti-DT countermeasures. You know what they say about the DTs, Maynard? They bring the GGs. That's right, the DT is going to be devastating. He's evacuated his natural, he's already down 10 workers, the Stalkers are annoying at the third base. He's going to try and depower the Robo, that should not work, there is a shield battery there. Actually heal that, Haas, heal it, heal it bro. All right, well, that DT is deflected. The one in natural doing a little bit here. Immortal getting targeted fired down by Nice, but it's saved by the Prism again. What do you think about a Zealot run by? Send 10 Zealots across the map. That might actually be like, because Haas is just going to get picked away at otherwise on the front. I think he's got to go for some sort of backstab. I mean, yeah, it, it's so frustrating for Haas, and it must be terrible for, for anyone that's kind of pinned back in their base and they just can't do anything on the other side of the map because it feels like your opponent's just rolling out of control over there. Yeah. Archon Zealot coming in crazy numbers. I love the Zealots. Wait, oh, actually, why doesn't he? Why didn't he just flank the Stalkers from behind? Yeah, yeah, split yeah. them around. Yep. Come from behind the Watchtower. I agree. It, he's like, it's so obvious what you're doing right now. I'm surprised Nice isn't just going home actually, because he's got such a good economy advantage. I'm, I'm with you completely. Grab, break off those Zealots. Go through the middle of the map and come around through that uh, that ramp there. Yeah. So All the scoop. Uh oh. oh, oh got an immortal. Nicely done. It. Yeah, we missed click there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Haas is so behind, 14 workers, but his army supply is still even, and Zealot Arc on a model does more raw damage. I can't believe Nice is just microing into this. These guys are such mad lads when it comes to the micro Maynard. Mm. They will just keep on attacking into the wildest situations. He's like, yeah, mortal battery, of course. I like fighting into that with Stalkers. Look at the dodges, dude. I. I I think this is just like we said though, the Stalker mobility is so good. He's able to pick out the fights out of the amount of dodges of the projectiles has keeps doing though. Oh, the Zealots need to flank, man. I, I don't know. They're just going to go for it. How's it just going to try and chase him down? It won't work. Stalkers are too mobile. They just pull back. Yeah, and uh, using the mobility to great effect here, but the charge lots yep. are going to punish. Oh, he's going to try and go over with the batteries there. The wall off though. I think the stalkers can fight here man oh this is so bad the dt hits his mineral light okay nice has got it dude gets an immortal gets an arc on and look at that stalk account it's just too big oh my god what a game <laughs> what a series actually this is every single time these guys have faced Ooh. off in the game it may start kind of normal but then they're just like you can see that moment when when Haas was like no, wait, I have to get that second second gateway. He started to sort of like play more reactively to rather than stick to his yeah. plan. Um, and he knew from then it was going to be a barn burner. So well done to Nice in the end to be the guy winning. But honestly, it's like both Haas and Nice won that game multiple times.
just a and that, yeah nice no, no, nice game, actually won the game i guess they keep get the thing is that's this region though dude these guys keep getting up out of the coffin there are zombies man just killing them once doesn't do it you got to drive a stake through their heart you need holy water garlic the whole shebang like you can't just it's not easy man you've got to make sure that they're nailed uh nailed through many many times over sick game three indeed well we're gonna take a short break guys when we return game four i think yes we'll see you then G'day mates, welcome back to the DreamHack Masters main event here for Taiwan, Hong Kong. I am Maynard, with me is Pig, and we are in the midst. Now we are deep within, elbow deep I would even say, between Nice and Haas. 
who have really been inside of each other's heads, just downloading their thoughts like nanobots inside of a bloodstream. They are absolutely uh, putting on a hell, a hell of a show in the series. Like, it's not the cleanest games, lots of mistakes on both sides. And I think that has to do with the fact that they are both like just overthinking <laughs> each other in their plan because they are so, uh, um, you know, they can be so uh, crazy and unpredictable. You're muted again, mate. So sorry, nudge, mate. Nudge, getting nudge. late here. It's all right. Yeah, it is getting a bit late. For getting, for getting to hit the mute button. We're so excited for the PvP. You're right. Um, just think about all the planning that's gone into these series. It's absolutely wild. The, the, let's try and go gas first, Phoenix. You know, preparing for an air war that never ended up happening. Let's go for the three gate road, but account of the expand. Lots of wild build orders, and this man at the forefront of it all, representing Prep Esports. This is Haas. And in the bottom right, is that one of those gamers from the Good Game Gaming? One of those Good Game Gamers? It is nice! Didn't have to type the GG in the last game. Opponent had to type it to him. Does enjoy accepting and harvesting those good games out of the Good Game Gaming Gaming victories in their gaming tournaments. He also harvests a lot of, uh, a lot of scalps from those EPT North American tournaments. Which Haas oh, yeah. has been dipping his toe into as well lately. Yeah, these guys play a lot of the Asian weeklies and the North American ones. The number of times they run into each other in like a quarterfinals or a semis yeah. is insane. I'm always like, how are they always running into each other? I'm like, well, I guess it's because they cleave their way through so many opponents. It's it's inevitable. Um, yeah. It's it is kind of funny that it's them eliminating each other so often. Yeah. Uh, when I was looking at their match history, I'm like, damn, there's a lot of EPT and A's in here. You know, the, ooh, pile on up here to the north side for Haas. Now, that might be uh, just a... This is the, that awesome PvP mind game thing. I mean, there's so many mind games in PvP, especially when these players yeah. know each other so well. That's They're trying to sell the story to Nice that there might be a proxy, making him overthink it, but it's actually just a pile on. Yeah, good way to just mask your true intentions in the map. And uh, Lightshade, of course, is a map with... Some very good abilities to blink into the main base. Uh, quite a big spread on the bases. So we might see the players expand to the front triangle third rather than the other one. Just to kind of uh, limit the space in between their bases. And a nice quick Stargate. Uh, yeah, okay. Interesting. Double Adept, Stargate, Delayed Warp Gate. Does wall out Haas from scouting it. So a little bit of a switch up where Nice has been... Uh, he did go Stargate one particular game where he got the Oracle up and, uh, and uh, you know, maybe intended to go for the Phoenix War, but Haas uh, got a leg up on that and went for the Gas Steel and Nice went for the Ground Pound Army instead. Um, other than that, Nice has been favoring the, uh, the Gateway Robo Openers and Haas yeah. is the one taking his turn to try those Robo Pants on and see how they fit. Haas is like, that 3 gate robo you just did to me yeah, look good really good, man. good build, man. man. Damn. Yeah, but I, maybe I try it on. I mean, he's actually not got a third gate yet, though. So is he just going to rush a prism to drop two adepts in the main? Why not? It's actually, I know it sounds silly, but it's actually a thing. If you just chrono a prism straight across the map, drop them in the corner of the main, your opponent doesn't see them coming in, and, and they can just one-shot a whole bunch of uh, those workers. So that's exactly what Haas has in store for us. It is a prism. Let's go. Let's load up two units and drop that main. Nice finds that extra pile on here. So, um... Still no Nexus for either side. It's a really one base here. Yeah, extremely committed. Oh, the Adept's trying catch to... Catch here for Haas. That's yeah, really these, nice. these Adept's are in big trouble. That's a lovely catch for him. One Adept goes down. Um, was it... It was so... There's, there's three Adept's on the map now, right? For, uh, Nice? Hmm... Yeah. Yes. Three adepts, two oracles. Very good harassment force. This pylon's actually great for spotting oracles coming in the main as well. So Nice is working on it with his scouting probe, trying to get rid of it very slowly, steadily. And he's going to go for his prism. That may have been, I'm almost certain that was spotted by Nice. Uh, hey, these adepts taking a lot of damage now. Oracles getting ready to move in along that left flank of the map. Those oracles get in the back undefended, they could be huge. Adept on adept violence here in the main base of Haas. It's the oracles, though. They, that's where the damage is. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Ha! Ah, it's not like this. Oh, boy. Oh. He's got to recall those stalkers and the prism as well. Is that coming home, too? That's no, just three stalkers. 
Still got the prism oh. across the map. But yeah, he's eight got, probes have already gotta died. Do he's got to do big damage on the other side That stalker's super now. dead. Yeah, he loses his stalker, but... Nice, maybe didn't actually spot the war prism earlier. There was so much going on. Ooh, quick response from him. But he's going to get at least three or four here. Minimum. The oracles are back. Oh. One of them heavily bruised. Took a little bit to start the pulsar beams, but they do get in there. No, house is only down three workers. The problem is there's two oracles and a void ray out, which it feels like the utility is way better in terms of the units on the map for nice than for Haas. And that, on top of an economic advantage, definitely quite large. Natural done now for Haas. Just catching up in that regard, but uh, yeah, only a couple of workers down, as Big mentioned. Not that bad of a of a lead for, for nice. Oh. Uh oh. Gets the prism. Pretty huge pick off there. Ooh. So Haas has got these adepts, but now they are. Uh, it's very hard to escape with adepts. Like, yeah, they have their shade ability, but the stalkers outpace them. And if they know the direction that oh. they're heading into, it's, it's oh, pretty no. hard. Pretty easy to cut them off. Yeah, and they get caught. Oh, two of them go down. There's only one adept here. Nice is tearing Haas apart, Maynard. Mm. And it looks like that last season. Nice to say that was a fluke, mate. No, nah, <laughs> not again. No way. I'm coming back. You might beat me in all these little online best of threes. You're not beating me here. Not in the big tournament that matters. Oh, man. Yeah, this is looking really good for Nice. I mean, even if even if Nice wins this game and uh, Haas is knocked back, the plus side of this region means that we're probably going to see them play again. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, go go Joey doesn't feel super confident against either of these guys. Yeah, oh, those voids. Oh, man. So much firepower. Yeah, that's a bunch of non blink stalkers. It's like six or seven stalkers. The oracles are defended. It's well done by House splitting his meager army as well as he can. But right now, I see a bunch of guys with pitchforks up against a trained military in full chainmail, swords, lances, cavalry, uh, everything. Nice has got the works, man. Yeah, it certainly does. He's got more units. He's got better units. He's still got those oracles alive, being jerks. Ooh, oracles picking off the water probes. Oh, that's just too much. That's yeah. way too many units. He's expertly done here by Nice, hiding his oracles to the last moment in the early game, sliding those in along the left side of the map, and Haas just had no idea it was coming. And that's it was nice with the more damaging, more aggressive opening harassment. It really was beautiful the way Nice set up this whole opening, kept him busy with the adapts, and those oracles have just been absolute devastators. Yeah. A fun series from both these guys, but Haas is out of option and out of life here. They'll have to have that rematch against Gogo Joey in the loser's bracket. Already beat him once, 3-2, but it was a close series. And... Uh, I mean, then we might be able to get that rematch if he manages to get that get that victory over Gogo Joey again. Yeah. What? Uh, Gogo Joey waiting in the wings. I'm sure he's actually going to come out and put up a big fight against him. Haas fighting for his life, of course, when you're uh, upper bracket life, at least. Your series life. But yeah, yeah. Max life is on the line. You hang on in here and you micro it out. Haas has made comebacks before, but no Dark Shrine GG. to speak of.